Good morning, everyone! And welcome to Mrs. Mann's music class! Today we're going to be talking about instrument sorting. And I brought all my percussion instruments home with me, so we're going to listen to them and then we're going to sort them. Let's go ahead and get started. So we have three different categories that we'll start with. We have the woods, we have metals, and we have skins. Let's figure out which instruments go in which category. So I have the three different categories. I have the woods over here, skins, and metals. And here are some of our instruments that we have. So we have the wood block, and here's what the wood block sounds like. We have the mural. That's the one that looks like a fish or a rocket. We have the tambourine. We have Lemmy Sticks, we have Finger Symbols, we have the Maracas, we have the Triangle, And we have the hand drum. And to take place of the, oops, of the djembe, today I have one of my drums from school. And all the instruments are falling off my lap. I don't really have a good place to put them. We'll sit them right there. Okay. Believe I got all of them. So let's see if we can sort them. So I have the woods over here, skins down here, metals over here. Let's see our first one. So we have the djembe down in the skins. And skins mean like the top. Now it's not made of real skin long, long time ago, drums were made of real skins, but now they're just made of synthetic material, most likely cotton. Looks like cotton fibers. And this would be the skin part. Oh, in the woods we have the guiro. And the guira is made of wood. Another skin. We have the hand drum. The one I was just holding. Oops, there we go. The metals. We have the triangle. And the triangle is metal because it's made of metal. We also have the cowbell. The cowbell is down in the metals. I hope that you're still able to see it. Let me see if I can move this. There we go. The cowbell. Oh, I didn't play the cowbell earlier. I'm sorry. Cowbell. And then we have the symbols. I'm moving my little screen up here now. I have the symbols. I didn't play those earlier either. Sorry again. They are made of metal. And the maracas are in the wood. Now, the maracas I have are made of plastic, but most maracas are made of wood. We have the wood block. The wood block goes into the wood category because it's made of wood. And the finger symbols are also made of metal. The lemmy sticks. The lemmy sticks are also made of wood. I also have claves here with me too. And the claves 
are made of wood also. And our last one, we have the tambourine. And the tambourine goes into the skins category because it has most tambourines that I've seen at least have a skin on them. But it can go in another category too. It can go in the metal category because it plays the uh, metal shakers. What other categories are there? Let's see. We have the shakers, scrapers, clinkers, and tappers. And I've added some more instruments to it, so let's figure out what categories these instruments go in. And I'm going to find a good place. So I'm going to move it down here, but in the corner we have egg shakers, kibasa, hand drum. I'm just going to move this on top of it. So let's figure out what categories they go in. Oh, hold on. So, shakers or anything that can you can shake. Scrapers are instruments that you can scrape. Tappers are instruments that you can tap or hit or pound on. Different things like that. Clinkers are anything that clinks. So, in the tappers we have the cowbell because you tap it. Also in the tappers, we have the djembe, and my djembe was too big to bring home, so I just brought a little drum home. But you tap it. You can also beat on it or pound on it, depending on the type of drum it is, but we always want to be careful with the drums. Um, then we have the, in the clinkers, the triangle, because you clink the triangle. In the scrapers, we have the wiro because it's a scraping and to scrape the top. In the clinkers, we have the cymbals because you clink the cymbals together. And of course, maracas are shakers you shake them. Also in the shakers we have the egg shakers. Egg shakers are my favorite. They're just so fun. In the clinkers, ooh, we have a new one. You've probably seen my chime bell before. When you tap it, you clink it. Have a clinking sound. And we have the wood block. Wood block you tap. Finger symbols you clink. And the lemmy sticks you tap. Same with the claves. I think claves and lemme sticks are very similar. They have a little bit different sound. Tap. They could even go in the clinker category too because they kind of clink the claves do. We have the tambourine and the shakers because you shake tambourines. You can also tap tambourines. And we have the frog rasp. I did bring my little frog. This is my other favorite instrument. I love the frog rasp. You scrape it. It's a scraping instrument. Oh, and then we have the rain stick. The rain stick I put in the shakers category because I don't really shake it, but it has the, the sound like the maracas and the egg shakers. You can shake it a little bit, get a different sound with it. Ooh, and then we have the wind chimes. The chime tree, wind chimes, chime tree. This one's my other favorite. They clink. 
I'll put them in the clinker category. And another tapper is my hand drum. And then we have the sand blocks, and I put those in the scrapers. You scrape them. And lastly, the kibasa. The pot kibasa goes in the scrapers too because it scrapes. You don't shake it. What do you notice about the instruments in the clinker section? So one thing that I notice is that these are all made of metal. And a lot of times clinking sounds make metal kind of sounds. And what do you notice about the scrapers? Well, I notice that some of the scrapers are wood, but I also notice that the scrapers when you scrape them, you scrape against something. So maybe you're scraping against ridges or you're scraping against other pieces of sand on there from like the sandpaper. What about the shakers? The shakers, a couple of them have, are like round with things inside of it. Oh, and the rain stick is long with something inside of it. And the tambourine has shakers on the outside of it. See, and the tappers. I always say I'll have like surfaces that you tap on. You tap on the surfaces. And most of these I've noticed are made of wood. Do you think any instruments belong in another category? Yeah, of course. Many of these can belong in other categories. I sometimes think that the cowbell belongs in the clinkers because it kind of has a clinking sound. Or I think that um, the tambourine belongs in the tappers because you can also tap the tambourine. What do you think? What other instruments do you think belong in other categories? Are there any other percussion instruments that you know that could belong in a category below? Well, yeah, of course. These are just some of the instruments that I had. Um, one of them I also brought out that I didn't put in the category is my shaker. Everyone loves this one. This one's a fun instrument. It's very similar to the maraca, but it has the shakers on the outside, and they have beads, and they're weaved into the beads on the outside. You can shake it. You can tap it. Um, so yeah, I love the shaker AT. What categories can you think of? There's a million categories out there. Are there any other categories you can think of that you can put these instruments in? Because, I mean, they're not just absolutely set in a certain category. These are just some categories I thought these instruments belonged in. And I want to see what categories you think they belong in, too. Well, that's the end of the lesson today. I can't wait to hear more about what you thought of the presentation and if there's any other instruments that you know of or categories that you can think of. I'd love to hear back from you, maybe in Flipgrid or Class Dojo. But let me know your thoughts. Thank you. Have a great day.